Hi everybody, it's Eileen here at Red Hot and Flashy and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to take a minute and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time a new video goes up. And like my video, make any comments. It all goes a long way and it is very appreciated. So today I have a lunch date. I know with COVID-19, everybody's been on lockdown for quite some time. And here in New Jersey, they just started opening up some indoor dining. But where we're going today does have outdoor dining. It is a restaurant in Kearney, New Jersey called Q-Tal. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I think it's Q-Tal Bar and Restaurant. And it is American food with a Brazilian twist. And when I found it on a post made from a friend of mine. She posted a such a good looking dish. It was, it looks like it's shrimp, scallops, uh, and clams in a risotto. So I can't wait to try it. I'm just going to insert this right here. This was my lunch today. And we can't forget my cocktail. Boy, it was good. Anyway, I figured we'd come and get ready together. Now, as you know, we have to wear masks, so we're not going to go in with foundation and put all that stuff on. But uh, I was going to go with nothing on my face except for moisturizer, but I thought maybe I would put a little bit on tinted moisturizer and let's see how it works. We'll see. So first I'm gonna start with my primer, which is Farsali. I got this in my BoxyCharm, and I absolutely love it. It is Farsali Skin Tune Blur. So it comes in a bottle, it's a liquid primer. It comes in a bottle with a dropper, and I'm just gonna take a couple drops, not much. Rub it together and go ahead and rub that on. I never put enough on, I don't know why. <laughs> Okay, Ooh. I already moisturized my face earlier, so that's why I didn't do it again now. The next thing I'm going to use is my newly purchased Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And we're just gonna use a little bit. I like to use a brush with this. I think that it works better. I don't always use brushes for that for my moisturizer, I'm sorry, for my foundation, because I find that it leaves it a bit streaky, but I really like it for this. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm not gonna do a lot, uh, maybe a little more than that. <laughs> there we go. Dip my brush on my hand and just put it on. Now with tinted moisturizer, it does, it only gives you a very sheer coverage. But I have found that that is what looks good or better on my skin with all my wrinkles. <laughs> it doesn't settle into any of those wrinkles. I do believe it's buildable, but I don't really like foundation. So I just use it basically to even out my skin tone because you know I'm full of freckles and especially in the summertime, <laughs> that's how I get my tan, I freckle. And don't forget your neck. You wanna make that seamless. You don't want two different colors. There we go. Something light because although we don't have to wear a mask while we're eating, we do have to wear a mask when we're going in. So I don't want all this makeup on my mask. I'm not going to contour or highlight. I'm just going to put some blush on. So what I'm going to do right now is set this with some translucent face powder. And it is called Cover, Cover Girl Professional. Uh, Cover Girl Professional Loose Powder. Translucent Light is the shade. And here's what it looks like. And forgive the tape because we cracked the top. So, but... This is the color. It's kind of a beigey looking color. Uh, I guess you could call it. It's not really beige, but it's colored. So 
me take my glasses off. I'm just gonna use what's left over in the cap here. Take a nice big fluffy brush. Tap off that excess. I'm gonna turn and tap it off. Make sure you tap off that excess. You don't want powder everywhere. And especially powder, I powder under my eyes especially, so the uh, tinted moisturizer does not settle and crease under my eyes. I hope everybody is healthy and enjoying this weather. I know I love the summer, but here in New Jersey, summer is coming to an end. Although today it's 80 degrees, which I love. But fall, I think yesterday was the first day of fall and my neighbors are uh, putting up Halloween decorations. It saddens me. Although I love Halloween, it signifies that end of summer and summer is my favorite. Next is the eyebrows. And just gonna go very quickly over with my Maybelline eyebrow pencil. It's in the shade of blonde because they don't really make pencils for redheads. I'm gonna use my hand mirror so I can see. And I'm just going in and I'm not gonna do anything fancy because I have not learned how to do all those fancy moves. <laughs> I'm just gonna fill in, especially right here. I should have showed you before. It looks like I'm missing half my eyebrow, but I've had that since I was young. It's almost, it's like the color is white right there. So I'm just gonna fill them in. You know, as you get older, your eyebrows become sparser. At least mine have. Then I'm gonna go in and brush it with my spoolie just to clean it up. Looks like I have some eyebrows now. I bought, I went to uh, Ulta and I got some, one of the good things I like about Ulta at the front of the cash register, and I know it's probably for impulse shopping. They have minis so that you can try the different products. And I've always heard about Tarte uh, Shape Tape, and I really wanted to try it. So I got this mini, and it is in the color of, oh, 22N Light Neutral. So I'm just gonna take that and use it as my eyelid primer. I hear how wonderful it is, so we'll see. It's not as thick as my uh, It by Bye Under Eye that I usually use, but I'm gonna go ahead and just use my finger. And I also go under my eyes just so I brighten that up a little bit. Here we go. Now I also go in and I set this because I do not want this to be settling in my creases on my eyelid. And you guys can see I have hooded eyes. Another lovely effect of age. My eyes are looking a little puffy there. Let me put my ring back on. Okay, next is, I'm gonna set that. I could use eyeshadow or translucent powder. It doesn't matter which one you use. So today, let me just go in, turn on my tablet, because I got a nice little eye look I'd like to try. Today I'm going to be using probably my favorite eyeshadow palette. Now, Obviously, well, maybe not obviously. I've worn makeup since I was a teenager. Um, but I always kind of wore the same stuff, basically. Um, so for Christmas one year, I asked my daughter Morgan for an eyeshadow palette that I used to come and steal hers. Not steal it, but borrow it. You know, use it. So I asked her if she could buy me an eyeshadow palette. So the, what she bought me, and this is so this is my first ver ever eyeshadow palette, was Modern Renaissance by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I love it. <laughs> so 
I have to tell you, Morgan created a monster. When she bought me this, I don't know why, I just fell in love with makeup all of a sudden. Trying new looks, practicing, oh, just, yeah, she turned me into a monster. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead with uh, my Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I pulled up something on Instagram from one of the girls that I follow. Sorry about that. I pulled up a look on Instagram. I like to do that. I like to go in because, I don't know, I have trouble deciding what colors go with, you know, which colors, uh, not so much on me, but, uh, you know, together on an eye look. So I like to get ideas and inspiration from people on Instagram. So her name is, I'm so sorry if I'm not pronouncing this right. I'm thinking it's Danielle Bar Barbier but it's spelled D-A-N-I-A-L underscore B-A-R-B-I-E-R. -E um, she has pictorials and I loved the fact that she actually goes in with these little dots to show you exactly where you're putting those colors. So you should check her out. I'm just gonna go in and set my, my uh, concealer on my eye, my eye base, eye concealer, eye primer. I'm telling you, my mind is shot. I'm going to go in and I'm going to use today Tempera. That's number one right there. And I'm sorry if I butchered these names. Lately, I don't know what it is about names and, and oh, I'm telling you, it's old age. <laughs> At least I'm going to use that as an excuse. I'm just going to take a little bit on my brush and tap the excess off and go in and just set the face tape. Did I say that? Shape tape. <laughs> Shape tape. Concealer that we put on. Funny story. Now that I'm thinking about that. An old age. My grandmother, she used to always butcher names of things. When I was a little kid um, in grammar school, she had to call my principal. Give me a second. I'm going to get back to that. The next step is uh, I'm going to use... Buon Fresco. I don't know if I said that right. But that color is, uh, let me count here. Hold on. One, two, three, four. This is the color right here. Oops. This is the next color I'm going to be using. And we're just going to go in and put that on the crease. It's going to be a transition shade. And then I'm also going to bring it down and put it underneath my eye on the lower lash line. I know. I keep having a look. So back to my story. So when my grandmother was, when I was little and my grandmother had to call my school principal for something, I think I was out sick or something like that. And her name was Miss Verduin. And so when she called the school, she asked to speak to Miss Verduty. And you know, as an eight year old, she said duty. <laughs> and I just thought that was hysterical. Oh my God, you called her Miss Verduty. I know. Childish, but I was only eight. She used to call things like Atari, Atari. Stop playing Atari, you've had enough. It was pretty funny. I'm laughing, but now I'm getting that way. So back to what I am doing. I'm gonna go ahead and just put that in my crease line. And remember with the hooded eyes, you wanna go up into that orbital bone instead of the crease because my crease, if you could see it, is down here. So I can't put that color there so it's a very pretty shade i don't know how to explain it like a taupe maybe oh what a beautiful day it is and i keep looking over here to see if i'm doing it correctly yeah yeah i think i am i'm gonna use another color to darken it up this is just a transition shade and basically to i guess shape your eye really I know this eye is worse than this eye. If you could see how low that's sitting. Oh, see what it does. Oh, I shouldn't do that, I guess. Okay. So the next shade we're going to use is Burnt Orange. And let me just show you what that looks like. It is right there. Burnt Orange. And that's going to go ahead just into the crease. Oh, Good thing I forgot. No, I didn't forget. Good thing I remembered, I should say. I have to take that color down into my lower lash line. The, um, 
What color is that? The Buon, Buon Fresco. I know, I am so bad at pronunciation. Again, please forgive me. And then I'm gonna just go into the lower lash line and give it some color there, instead of using eyeliner. And I'm not gonna go all the way because it makes my eyes look smaller. I'm trying to remember not to open my mouth like that. My kids are making fun of me, my girls. They're like, you make such funny faces. I'm like, yeah, you liked them when you were babies. I have to tell you, I am so glad my children are grown or out of high school at least, because I feel for all you parents that are doing that uh, distance learning, uh, and God bless the teachers because their job isn't easy. As parents have now discovered trying to teach their children. <laughs> so God bless you, I really uh, feel for you guys. Okay, now we're gonna go in with that burnt orange and we're gonna put it on the crease. And it helps darken. Remember the first shade we put on? Um, it's just a transition shade so that you could blend everything together. <sighs> Don't forget to tap off that excess or blow it off. So we're gonna go in on the crease and we're also gonna do the corner, the outer corner. This is kind of a neutral look. And the same on the other eye. I do both eyes at the same time because I can never remember sometimes which color I used where and I would end up with two different eyes. So I just do both eyes at the same time. Okay. Yeah, you see, you see this eye? My eyeshadow gets lost in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and darken up the upper portion of that. Let me go back in with the Buon Fresco and just blend those colors together so they look nice and seamless. All right, that's better. I'm gonna have, go ahead and do the same on this side, blend them together with that transition shade and then go back in one more time with the burnt orange because I think it would look a little nicer. A little darker, not too dark. Okay. Oh. All right, the next color will be on our lid. Antique Bronze is the name of it. Let me find it. <laughs> what color am I for? Antique Bronze. Hopefully it's not too dark on me. Let's see, it is right there. That's gonna go on our lid. Okay, wish me luck. There's nothing worse when I get this far and the color is wrong for me. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and go in with the, totally forgot the name of it, Antique Bronze. And that's gonna go on your lid or on my lid. Ah. And my lid space is small. Trying to keep my mouth closed again. <laughs> okay, something simple. Let me fix that. There we go. Now for the inner quarter and the brow bone highlight, they are using Vermeer is the color. It's really pretty. This is Vermeer right there. And with hooded eyes, you don't wanna go in and do the entire top layer because when it's a shimmer, it actually brings that part forward. So use it very sparingly. I'm gonna go ahead and get this fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna put it on the outside of my brow bone, just real small, just so it barely gives it a nice little highlight. Cause I don't wanna bring forward that part of my eye 
because I have hooded eyes. So it's already far enough. See, I think I, I did this too far. So I'm gonna go in and just blend that out a little. So it's not as intense. This one was good. And then I'm also gonna take that color and put it in the inner corners to give it a little bit of sparkle. A little bit of brightness. I know sometimes it's hard to say on camera, oh, but I'm doing my best. All right, now I have such tiny little eyes that I like to, to uh, go in with the colors with eyeshadow and like make an eyeliner out of them. So I go ahead with an angled brush and I'm gonna tap into a brown here. I'm gonna try and go in with the Cypress Umber. It is a darker brown right there. And I'm just going to create an eyeliner on the top of the lid. And I'm not going to try and create a wing because if you watched my last video, I am not good at that. So it's just to go ahead and just gives your eye a little for me anyway, it gives it a little more uh, definition. And it's not harsh lines because it's eyeshadow. You know, using gel or liquid eyeliner. Um, well, especially liquid, but if you use a pencil, you can smudge it out, but liquid you really can. It's just a harsh line. Oh, goodness, I made a mess under that eye. I'm gonna have to go fix that. There's quite a bit of fallout, unfortunately. I'm gonna take a clean brush and wipe that away. Oh, that, that didn't work. Guess I'm just gonna be using my fingers. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a brush and buff that out a little bit. I don't want such a harsh line. I don't know about you, but it's been a really long time since I've been out on a date. Basically this summer, we've just been staying at home and you know, barbecuing, hanging out in the yard, grilling, which I love to do anyway. Oh, just put myself in the eye. Okay, that's better. And now we're just gonna put on some mascara. But give me a second, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go off camera and put on mascara. Okay, all done. So I'm not gonna go in and contour my face or anything like that, but I am gonna put some bronzer on just because, uh, you know, my suntan is going away. I'm just gonna take a nice fluffy brush. I'm using Too Faced, uh, hold on, I'm sorry. Too Faced Chocolate Gold Soleil. It's just a nice bronzer, it smells like hot cocoa. Let's not forget to tap that off. Then I'm gonna go under my cheekbones, not too far out. You know, you don't want it coming all the way. And especially on my big forehead. And don't forget the areas in which the sun hits because that's what this is for. It's supposed to make you look like you've been kissed by the sun. So it always hits your nose. And then I'll do my jawline. And don't forget to blend that in because you don't want harsh lines. Let me go up here a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm just gonna take all the excess and go over my whole face so I get a little bit, a little bit of sun kissed. And then I'm gonna go in with that same brush and I'm gonna put on some blush. I'm using Bare Minerals. Oh, I know that it's up high, but Bare Minerals in the, uh, it's called Bounce and Blur Blush and it's in the, the shade of Mauve Sunrise. Ugh, I can't get it open. Okay, here we go. Here's what the color looks like. And I'm just going to tap off that excess. I'm just gonna 
first tap it on my cheeks, my cheek, the apple of my cheeks. Put some color there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and blend it. Just so we have a wash of color. There we go. I would say put on some lipstick, but that won't work with my mask. So I'm just gonna have those uh, natural lips. So it was great to see you guys. I hope that you guys are able to get out, enjoy the weather, have a little date with your man, your woman, your child, your loved one, your grandparents, your parents, whomever. Go out and enjoy the weather, go out and enjoy life. For now, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it. Love you guys. Till next time.